I'm gonna do a little further cast. There it is. Come on now. It's gotta be something big in there. How about a big redfish? Right in that pocket. That would be awesome. There we go. Nice. Welcome to another Fishtails video. Today, as you can see, I am in Southwest Florida in the Intracoastal Waterway, just a beautiful area to fish. I'm gonna be starting with flies from Salty Fresh Flies, LLC. Check them out on Instagram. They're amazing, amazing detailed flies, and I'm gonna be hoping to catch snook and whatever else is biting. So I'm gonna start off with that in the kayak. So stay tuned, it should be a good one. Cool spot here, little salt pond with the out tide just flowing out of this little channel. And bait fish coming through here all the time, and hopefully, some bigger fish to feed. So, got my favorite shrimp gurgler from Salty Fresh Flies on. Let's see if we can get a nice early morning bite on top water. Come on! Oh, there we go, something took it. First cast. Oh man, they want it. I'm not sure if those are snappers. That last one looked like a snook the way it was a little longer. Sometimes they like it just on the pause. So I'll just pause it for a second. And that's just like a largemouth bass. Kind of want it nice and easy. And yeah, sometimes they don't. Let's check out this fly though. Super detailed. Look at that, colors in there. All the different uh, sparkling, shiny, glittery, reflective stuff to bounce off the sun as well. This uh, should do the job. Let's give it another shot. There's a cast. Something right there waiting. Come on. Oh, there we go. Let's try it again. Okay, right about there. Come on. My guess, these are snappers. Being pretty aggressive here. Oh, look at that. Big swirl behind it. Now the wind's gonna blow us too. Come on. That was a good swirl. There we go. Come on. <laughs> Come on. That was a pretty good swirl. Twice. And now this gusty wind up to 20 miles an hour today is just gonna blow us away. So what I've done right now in the intercoastal waterway is to position, whoa, oh, right there he took it. Here I'm just totally blabbing here. And what I'm trying to do is position the boat here on the leeward side of this bay and behind these mangroves just to get out of the wind a little bit and work a top water lure, try to get some of these fish where the water's not so wavy and stirred up. And look at that, one cast three hits and that last one was pretty good all right let's put this shrimp right up against shore this is just out of the main in tide coming in pretty slow at the moment we're out of the current wow look at that right out of the water just a couple casts into it totally missing it though come on there we go got him what three casts into it and we got something on the gurgling shrimp from Salty fresh flies. Maybe it is a snook. What do we got here? Oh, little snook. It was so small, couldn't quite tell what he was. Let's score one for the gurgling shrimp. Little guy, back you go. Got him. What is this? Let him take it a little longer to the water. He's fighting like a jack. Maybe we got ourselves just a jack. Come on. Yep, I can tell. Just a little jack to start our day. But there's some bigger fish in here for sure. Come on in. He wanted that. And there he is. Look at those marks he's got. 
little jack on awesome looking shrimp gurgler see ya so the tide's coming in it's on the low side right now it's going to start speeding up but all i'm doing is keeping the right amount of line that i am away from shore so i don't even have to change that and just going parallel to shore the same distance away from shore and then just making those casts so again i have the same amount of line in my hand and now i'm going to cast and i'm right there i'm right in that spot i don't have to take more line in or take more line out i just kind of know that same amount that i'm at away from shore i don't have to worry about it getting all stuck in those mangroves not that i don't do that from time to time but most of them i can get within a foot of the edge of those mangroves and that's why i like fly fishing top water in certain conditions like this and let's see if we can get a big one in here i'm gonna do a little further cast there it is come on now there's gotta be something big in there how about a big redfish right in that pocket that would be awesome there we go nice well, I called my shot, just not the right fish. Looks like a little snook. A little bit bigger than that last one. Come on over. Come on out. Gurgling shrimp's doing the job. And little snooky. Absolutely love these conditions. We're only at five mile an hour winds, finally. So, I'm gonna keep doing this top water. So they're not around. Whoa, got him, got him. This is a better fish. I don't know what he is, could be a jack the way he's fighting. Boy, what a hit that was. All right, we're gonna keep him off the reel here, but gurgling shrimp, he wanted it. What do we got here? Oh, we got a jack, sweet. I'm not gonna complain about that, the way he hit. And the way he fights, that was fun. Come on over. Got him. And he wants to go back. See ya. There's a cast right in that pocket. Ton of in tide coming in around this point and nice slack water in here. Let's go. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Just trying to get this. Oh, something's behind it. Just trying to get this gurgling shrimp eaten here. I think the key with this today is going to be just using this pretty slow. Since this is such a calm area right here, just going to make them think about it and pausing. Got him. Got him. That was a cool eat. Super cool eat. Nice snook. I couldn't tell for sure what it was, but on the first hit, I don't think he's any match for this eight weight. I don't think so. Come on in. And that's a nice thin snook for the morning here. Man, did he eat that? Just look at that. <laughs> he wanted that. All right. See you later, Snooky. With the topwater bite being over now, I'm gonna switch over to this streamer from Salty Fresh Flies called the Everglades Special. And I think this is gonna be a special wherever you toss it. It has just a nice hard body. Looks like a, just a ton of bait fish. And let's see if we can get these fish to agree on that opinion that I have. Look at that. Nice slow sinking action here. I think we're gonna catch some fish. I'm just fishing this big mud flat here, hoping to catch a red. There might be some other fish like some jacks around, but basically I'm just gonna bring this thing across the flats here and cover a lot of territory and see what's around. Here we go. Oh, we got a ladyfish. <laughs> okay, that thing is jumping. Look at how high they get. Wow, look at the height, just like a baby tarpon. They can really get high. Let's see if he jumps in the boat now. Although it could be she, right? It's a ladyfish. <laughs> wow. Look at that. That was cool. Come on over. There it is. Everglades special. Same kind of eyes that the ladyfish has. That's a cool fish though. Look at how long and slender. Boy, those things really do jump out of the water.
Here we go. Oh, there's a snook. There is a snook on the Everglades Special. I knew there was something that yanked it. Look at that. Let's go backwards here so we don't hurt. Oh, and he got off. Just started bringing me into these trees and I was worried about my rod tips, which I'm gonna have to reposition in a second here. And we got some big waves coming behind us. We got it all happening. But this wind just blowing constantly all over the place. What I'm gonna do is get out of the boat here, clip on this kayak and just cast as I'm wade fishing here, walking along these mangroves. It's such a low tide. I can uh, get at these fish pretty easily that way. There we go. Flip this thing around my waist. Okay. Yanked it right there. Come on. Here we go. There we go. I knew it. Getting out of that kayak was the key. Oh, just too windy to work that kayak today. And don't be afraid to get out of your boat for fishing intercoastal waterway. And you'll get at snook hopefully 10 times the size. There he goes. But he wanted this. All right, Carter. You ready to catch some fish? Let's get the other seat moved and we're ready to go. Yeah, we can. It's high tide, so it'll be easy to get in. Oh, yeah. Opening to the hidden lake. I think we can go straight in with the high tide. And I think we got it. So far, so good. Yeah, we did it. Look at how easy that was. Look at how high that water is. And here is the hidden lake with the little island. Oh, what? Cast in that hole. There you go. Oh, look at that. That was a barracuda, I think, Carter. On your fly, but that would rip that That's fly. fly. Yeah, you made that, Carter, but it, it will break your line off like nothing. Whoa. Whoa. Let loose and drag. Oh, that was a barracuda. Ooh. Oh, Carter. Ooh. That was it. Oh, here we go. There we go. Wow, that was on the shrimp, Carter. And we got a jack. That's probably what, look at that on the shrimp. Oh, you hit that so fast. I was sitting there watching your popper. That was the fish that just took off. Oh, there he is. Yep. Wow. Yeah, I thought so too. And now he's gonna grunt. There. <laughs> Oh, we got our little jack on a shrimp. Boy, did he gobble that thing up. And that's what the jack took, a little plastic shrimp. Put a little scent on it, and he took that so fast. There he goes. All right, switching over to the swim bait here. Nice four-inch white swim bait. Put a little proke here on that. And let's go get Carter from being snagged, and then catch a fish. Oh, something bit it. Cast in there. Something went at it. Don't go too deep. That's a good one. Let's see if you got what I missed. Got him? Yeah. Nice, Carter. Now set the drag. Okay. There you go. Good job. What do we got there? Is that a black drum? Ooh, oh, there's a, something big following it. Something huge. Like four times that size. I don't know if it's a shark. Oh, nice fish though, Carter. Oh man, that was a huge one. It was like a bigger snook. Nice catch. 
Look at that on the rattle trap. The Stair River Outfitter Bait Shop got uh, Carter hooked up with this rattle trap. Nice color. And there were some bigger ones chasing it, Carter, as well. Okay. All right, you might catch some bigger ones. Nice job. Snooky, back you go. Oh, look at that. Got one. Oh, and there was one cruising right here. We, we just missed. Oh. oh man. I don't think I have a fish on, do I? I don't think so. Oh, wait, do I have a fish? I have a fish on. Fish on. I do. He's on. Oh, he's on. Uh -huh. Look at that. Oh, it's a little barracuda, too. <laughs> Look at that, Carter. Oh. oh, and we're in the trees. <laughs> if you wouldn't have hooked it, I might not have caught it. Okay, we are tangled in the tree. And there he is, little barracuda with big teeth. Check those out. Cool fish. Back you go.